All right, everybody, welcome back to another X Vault gaming video. X Vault here, and today, you guessed it, we have an unboxing video with the collector's edition of the God of War Ragnarok game itself. So, there's going to be a lot of goodies in here, a lot of great stuff. I'm excited, can't wait to show you guys. I know if even if you've seen some of these videos, it's still cool to see somebody's uh, expressions and see how this is opened up in another perspective. So I appreciate you sticking by. But let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Look at all the goodies and go over my thoughts and opinions on that as well. And can't wait to crack into this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, everybody. So here we have the God of War Ragnarok Collector's Edition, as you can see. Uh, so pretty awesome there with the box. Really nice artwork. Really pretty hefty. I think the heftness is going to come from the hammer and everything inside for the most part. That's the biggest part and why this is so large and heavy. So... So we'll be banging stuff around a little bit, so bear with me. If I do not totally open this the correct way, also bear with me. Or if I tear up the box a little bit, bear with me is there as well. Honestly, should have uh, looked at this a little more closely. We have a bunch of tape everywhere. That is the joy of every box here. But I am definitely excited for this. Unfortunately, I have to do work and adult responsibilities because before I can even get to it. <laughs> but at least we can do the boxing and then I can be super tired for work the next day due to the boxing, right? All right, so just like so, as we can see, this will be opening from this side here. And at least I think that's what's going on. We have tape literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Ah, uh, this is beautiful right here. As you can see, this nice, almost like faux wood, getting ready to come out to make that the awesome portion of the whole box itself. The wood chest. It's a very hollow outside casing, and we'll just uh, toss that out of the way, shall we? And it looks like we're going to have a nice big view of this uh, awesome box here. So we're going to show that we got a couple Velcro handles and everything here. Really nice art on the box as well. Now the only difference before we start opening this bad boy up is uh, the Jotner edition. I know I said that wrong. My boy would kill me. Is It has a little bit of difference in the game dice. And it comes with, I believe, a whole cloth map and some other trinkets as well. So we have the first part here. If you can see, we're going to have uh, the actual game trinkets here. And we're going to have uh, the steel bookcase here. Now, this does not have the game inside, like you all know. It's just a digital code. And then here we have the other game pieces here as well as the figurines, right? So let's pop these out before we get to the special piece here. Really awesome. All right, we got something and uh, something you don't eat, right? Pretty cool. We got the dice game here, so to speak. I'm not 100% sure how this will play in the game. Obviously, I have not played it yet. Take a quick look at these. Really awesome. These are clearly made of wood. They are not uh, cheap or filling anything like that. These are very hefty for the most part, except for this guy. That's the lightest piece, but... Really cool, I'll have to look into that and see if I can figure out if you can play this game outside of the game, if I know the rules or if it's any fun at all, but rather than not, really kind of cool. I like little trinkets like that and how they bring the aspects of the game to life and everything like that. So zip that back up, we'll put that back here. Don't think we need the plastic here. Let's take a look at this awesome steel case here, by the way. I'm gonna have that out on my steel casing display. Really nice artwork there. I do have to be careful not to share <laughs> the digital content, but we do have digital content inside here. Um, so I'm gonna set those down, but I will show the inside. It's there for, it looks like a disc, if not possibly two, but of course we don't have that, it's just digital. 
Um, the back of it has uh, some text from probably Niflheim or something like that, Valhalla, um, Norse translation, stuff like that, but really a cool artwork on there. Like I said, the uh, steel case is really awesome. So we'll make sure of that, yep, okay, I got my codes. I heard some horror stories that folks did not get the codes, <laughs> a couple of them where they got the DLC pieces of it and not anything else. So. Here we have two of the, the figurines, like I said. These have some real heft to them as well. Really impressed with this so far, but if you can see, just pretty awesome of the trinket itself. So, real awesome. Something I could probably set out as well. And as a matter of fact, I probably, probably will, rather than keep those in just the plastic casing themselves. Kind of the same thing, the other figure here. Again, I'm not sure who these are, if it's Freya or anybody else, or I apologize if one of you out there do know, and I'm completely ignorant to the fact, but awesome little figurines there. So this part just does stay. I'm actually just gonna take the dice out of there as well. And let's open up the big daddy of it all right here. Let's open those doors. Hopefully we can see that and I'll pull on these. Kind of magnetic, we got some awesome artwork here that you can hopefully see. And some middle ground work as well, opening both sides there. Super, super awesome. So here we have the fold down and boom, this comes apart and look at this beautiful thing. Let's keep that out. Definitely not going to break the hammer. Thing. Drop that. So this does indeed have some heft and weight to it as well. Really pretty cool. Really pretty cool. So a big fan of that. Pretty awesome, right? Just kind of need the the rope to start swinging it around. But yeah, you can really knock somebody out there with this thing, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so this will definitely go on my mantle out there. And then just really awesome hammer there, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, super, super awesome there. So I'm gonna set that to the side as well right here. And then we do have one last little thing of a secret compartment, I believe. I could be wrong here. I thought this pulled out, but maybe not. I think that was for the Jotunheim collector's portion there. They have the final with the map and everything there. But yeah, so really solid box. Um, hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me. And there's a secret compartment I'm not aware of, but I'm definitely not feeling anything in there. So it's still a hefty box, but again, nothing I'm seeing in there or anything that pops up. But again, an awesome box you can store things into. Or if I didn't want to display the hammer anymore. I can put this all back in where it belongs, which might be a possibility, but we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, really awesome guys. So real quick, a quick recap. We do got the dice here that came in the pouch. We do of course have the steel case, which is a great collector's item. If I ever do find the disc on a super sale at some point, I can put that in there if you want to be a collector of that sorts like I casually am to a point. Then we got both figurines, like I said, awesome. And of course, the hammer itself. Really, really great build here. Big, big fan and everything that comes with it. So not only that, but with the DLC codes, we also do have um, some special outfits and the like. So lots of stuff to get in game content too. But I hope everybody enjoyed watching the unboxing of this. This amazing box itself, spinning around, hopefully in frame enough. Uh, and hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I did. Can't wait to get to the game. And like I said, thanks again for everybody supporting as usual. And uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. But we are at 329 subscribers, hitting that 500 subscriber goal. Again, super appreciative of that. If you do enjoy this video and unboxings like this, Definitely leave a like, of course, comment, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, helping out a small content creator like myself. And stay tuned, I will be streaming bits and pieces of this game to share with you all in the near future, so I appreciate that. 
And we'll see you all next time on the next Xbox Gaming video. And until then, take care.